6. Welcome back. The Interstate 27 expansion into the basin has been the talk of the town since that legislation was passed earlier this year. And while construction on the new stretch of road will not begin anytime soon, the transportation experts say motorists here in the basin are soon going to see improvements to existing roads. As our Gabriella Meza reports, the goal of all of this is improving driver safety. This is an ABC Big 2 News special report. The Ports to Plain Corridor between Lubbock and Amarillo will one day expand into a 963-mile stretch of road through 26 counties, including Midland and Big Spring. Midland Odessa Transportation Alliance President James Beecham said it's a needed expansion with the country's top oil-producing area at the epicenter. This is where energy production in this state occurs. And it doesn't matter whether you're talking about oil and gas, solar, wind, whatever it is, it's all happening out here. Because it's all happening here, roadway connectivity is important because growth for the Midland Odessa area is inevitable. What you really find in the Midland and Odessa area is our area is going to grow regardless if you built an interstate or if you didn't. With that growth, issues concerning driver safety are a high priority. And that's particularly important for our area because we see a lot of really heavy oversized, overweight traffic with sometimes hazardous cargo that needs a good route there to keep it out of our, our more urbanized areas. To begin the I-27 construction process, changes are coming to area roads, including the construction of a four-lane undivided road between Midland and La Mesa on State Highway 349, as well as on State Highway 158 from Sterling City to the Midland County line. That alone could bring economic growth. But when you go from a four-lane divided road to an interstate standard highway, you have exponential growth of economic activity because there are so many different businesses and um, manufacturing opportunities, so many different things that look for these high-intensity corridors that are characterized by an interstate. Amid all the road projects already underway in the basin, another big project is concerning to some residents expressed through social media. There's always concerns. First and foremost, you know, as we continue to grow, you have to grow your roadways. That's just all there is to it. And if you don't, you'll have more crashes and you'll have more killings. So one thing that's critical, and we know we're going to continue to grow, this entire state's going to continue to grow. Uh, we've got to do a better job of prioritizing and pushing those improvements. A project as big as this, it takes time, but advocates say it's worth it. We have the opportunity to increase that safety through our region, and I believe this is an opportunity that we have to take advantage of. We need to uh, make sure that we're working hard with other stakeholders in our region. While changes associated with the project are coming, there's no cause for concern right now. That's because this future interstate project is so grand and the actual I-27 construction process won't begin anytime soon. You start planning, you start developing, you start working on projects. In the very short term, we'll see some improvements. Won't be slapping up an interstate sign out there, but it'll be making improvements that make those roads a lot safer. There's no specific timeline, but work is gonna start here pretty quick on a, on a significant chunk of it. Reporting in Midland, Gabriela Mesa, ABC Big 2 News. And you can learn more about this future interstate project on our website, yourbasin.com. And don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with one last look at the forecast you're watching.